he's actually an elementalist. Dude, put down the Kodan hammer. Oh! Snap. The troll bored me to death again! Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bog Otter, and welcome back to my Edge of the Mists beta preview. This is the new World vs. World map that is going in sometime in 2014, hopefully soon. And this is basically a staging area. Uh, it's actually a full-blown map with three-faction combat where you can level up your character, level up your World vs. World ranks. You can get your PvP for World vs. World achievements, but you don't have to wait in a queue because there is no queue for the Edge of the Mist. You can queue directly up for it, and it will just create overflow maps uh, for you to go in while you're... And you can actually queue up for the World vs. World proper while you're playing in it. So um, if you want more information about that, check out my first video. I'll put an annotation on the screen, and that goes over more of the basics. But in this video, I just wanted to give a quick tour while we're holding the points of the of the jungle area. Now, there are three uh, areas in here. One is Arctic themed, one is desert themed, and one is more ruins, jungle overgrown themed. And um, we are going, oh no, it looks like I might be kick, get kicked out. I'm gonna be server rematching. But let's see if real quick, oh, we can uh, run through and take a look. This is the actual um, keep. It's called overgrown fane. All right, that's your holding point, And I'm in the test lobby. Totally in the test lobby now. <laughs> well, they kicked us out, and now, of course, we don't control the jungle uh, keep anymore, so I can't really go in there. But we can take a tour of the other areas. We can go look at the altar over on this side, and there's the statuary down here, and the observatory is behind this wall. I don't know if I can get a better view or not, because there are some meanies over here. We'll see if we can... Ah, I'm going to slide down and hurt myself. We'll see if we can catch a glimpse of it, at least. Can we go up this back way, perhaps? Maybe there's a way in over here by the Cliffs of Insanity. Something tells me I'm not going to... Uh, be reward. Oh, there it is. There's the observatory right there. I was wrong. Oh, right. We've got a... It looks like the control point... Eh, yeah, it's not the control point. It's probably up there. But that place looks cool. We can't get over there, I'm assuming. Oh, you can get up here, at least. Oh, okay, we can't get across this wall. There's a cannon build site there. Oh, can you survive this? That looks... No, there's no way to get over there. That you will die for sure. And we can't get in the front door. The wall is there. And there's a gate with guards. So, all right, well, that, at least we got a glimpse of what the observatory looked like. All right, we're heading right towards a supply generator that's held by red. And if we go over this way, this will be more into the jungle area. All right, so there is a supply depot. What is it guarded by? It is guarded by a veteran ice elemental guardian. One that I'm not going to engage with. Got to be careful not to fall. Okay, so as you can see, we have entered a new tile set. There's more jungle theme. We have an airship, it looks like, in the background. In the center here. And this bridge, it looks like you can destroy this bridge. How interesting is that? You can kind of cut off this lane. All right, we got a Grawl stone worker here. He is guarding the sanctuary, the statuary. I keep saying sanctuary for this. 
All right, so this is one of the red objectives here. You defeat the guard and commune to capture. Use siege weapons to bombard foes. And you get five uh, points per tick for holding that. All right, let's go check, take a little uh, gander at the altar. Actually, that's not aggro. The Grawl. Bastard. Here's another bridge that looks like you can destroy. And we've got the altar over here. And we've broken this wall, it looks like. Alright, let's try to get through. No! Get up! Shake it off! Oh, there's a bunch of anvil rock peeps. Hey, there's some actual people from my server. Help me! Save me, Tom Cruise! We're defending the altar. This is our altar. All right. Can actually do something. Fighting air elementals by myself, apparently. Oh, we got a PvP battle going on. I will enjoy this. They're running away. Yeah, I got there just in time, didn't I? Can we give a chase? For great on my mark. You will not get away. Oh, yes, you will. You will totally get away. Well, at least this allows us to kind of take a closer look at some of the uh, jungle stuff. We've infiltrated. Here's here he is up there. Hi. You missed. All right, we got the tat. We got the altar. We got their supply generator over there. But I just want to take a look at your cool castle and stuff. Is that okay? So that's gonna wrap up the uh, jungle area preview. I'm sorry that we got kicked out right there when I was about to preview everything. All the juicy bits were were laid before me, and I was not able to. Uh, to get there quick enough to show it to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Edge of the Mist beta preview for the jungle area. And uh, just real quick, going over the three points in case I didn't do it earlier. The observatory, it allows you to purchase sentry turrets to mark enemies on the map. The altar allows you to commune with the altar to receive boons. And the statuary allows you to use siege weapons to bombard foes. Uh, the... This is actually the Overgrown Fane. Holding objectives increases in powerful boon. So, uh, the more objectives that you have while you're representing the, uh, the the fortress over here for the red team, you get a, a bigger buff to your stats and stuff like that, making it easier for you to defend your territory. So, if you're going to be sieging the red area, you want to capture objectives to lower the stats of the defenders that are um, trying to, you know, defend because that's what defenders do they're really good at defending and that's going to wrap up this edge of the mist preview uh please like favorite and subscribe and i hope everybody has a fantastic day and i'll see you next time take care